Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today we are going to be taking an overview on Eco Global Survive, and specifically we're going to be taking a look at the power cards. So as far as the power cards, you can gain the ability to make one is by going through the primitive mechanics and then going through mechanics, and it's the first level of mechanics. And I see here, once you get it, so you can get, make it the power card. You make a power card under this particular table. And as far as a power card, it requires one combustion engine, 20 lumber, and 20 gears. So as far as the combustion engine and the gears, you can make the combustion engine at the machine shop. And the combustion engine requires piston, steel, and for the gears, it requires steel, uh, um, iron, and note with the piston, in order to make that, that requires steel. Those require um, iron, and they also require the blast furnace. So note, as far as the actual power cart itself, it's supposed to be where you can power it, but notes right now there's a glitch where you don't need to. But I think this is a purposeful glitch because the carts, all of them, are messed up uh, completely. So note that. Now, as far as things goes, the storage, it might look the same, but it's actually doubled than the actual regular cart. It's almost basically a chest on wheels. So note that. And as far as things goes, when you're riding it, everybody else uh, will see you just standing on your seat. Uh, so just note that. But this is counted as being around three blocks high. So note that. But um, as you can see here, the bridge is fourth and we can pass right through it because our cabin in the back is lower than the actual bridge. So just note, you got things like that. Now, as far as the buttons, this is the interesting thing about it, is the forward back is obviously W and the ASD keys are, are the same as everything else, but the space bar is almost like a mercy brake. So if you're going down a hill too fast, then you can actually put a, the mercy brake on as which I will demonstrate in a second because we have a little bit hill right here. Notice that on the um, stone road we have 120% ability to uh, move forward. And on dirt road it's 100% so notice that. And notice even with the brake parking brake type thing on it still slides which is one of the glitches. So cock side in it would have been better. Now as far as that goes, it has pretty good turn radius, uh, about what you expect, but note that there's a lot of problems with these power cards. Uh, one of them being is that if the front wheel hits, say, ground that's a little bit higher than the road, then you can end up getting it stuck. It is fairly easily to get this thing stuck. So, say for example, if you you if if I put a hole in the ground, I I can get this thing stuck by just having the front wheel hit it. Um, then then on the back, it's very hard to actually see around it. So there's no mirrors or anything, so I, I would have a hard time trying to get around certain things. And that's just something that you have to deal with at this time. Um, also, keeping it in storage, I highly suggest that you pick it up um, each day uh, because the fact is, is the uh, thing will actually go somewhere else. It is glitched on that fact, just like the regular cart, but even more so because of the size. Now, as far as the fuel, one thing I forgot to mention is the fuel, it actually consumes it even though you, um, you, you're you not using it. And you can use any type of fuel that you want, so wood, coal, whatever. It's uh, If you actually take a look at it, it's actually using a steam engine. Uh, basically, you got a heater right here. It's heating up the water, and it's a steam type of engine right there. You even have a, a smoke thing right there and, and steam. 
So, uh, but one thing I'll also note here is if you have like a loading bay. So for example, if imagine that over here was a building and right here, what I could do is I could end up, see if I can back this up a little bit. I could end up having a building just right above me and have this chest where it's right above me have this um, you know as it is and I can use it as a loading thing so I could drive it on or hop up here as you saw where I could just jump up here and load something right above me and some people use that um, some people say that's more of a cheat but uh, realistically there's no dollars or anything else in this game so you know it's better than nothing but anyways, as far as that goes, that's uh, pretty much about it. Um, it is worthwhile getting these, especially with the fact that you actually don't need any fuel in it. Uh, it is a little bit noisy, and that's one thing to note. But it also is way glitchy, but it holds so much more than a regular card. So just note that. But anyways, if you got any questions, anything else, then let me know, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And um, I'll see you next video. And let me know what you want me to cover in our next video. And feel free to check out my main channel. But anyways, see you next video. Hope you have a great day.